Hi everyone, welcome to today's GCSE Foundation Revision video. There's 36 days to go into your first GCSE Maps paper, and today we're going to focus on two different topics. They're both statistics or data handling topics, and they are stem and leaf diagrams and frequency polygons. So in this video, I'm going to go through each of them. I'll give you some questions to try yourself, so I'll ask you to press pause and try those questions. And also, I'm going to put links in the description below to the practice questions on both of them. So hopefully you find it useful and let's get started. Hi, today we're going to be looking at frequency polygons and then we're going to look at stem and leaf diagrams. So here we've got a table and we've got time from 0 to 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, 60 to 80 and 80 to 100 minutes. And we've got the frequencies for each one of those categories. And here we've got a set of axes and we're going to draw a frequency polygon. So feel free to press pause now and to draw this frequency polygon. Okay, so if we want to draw a frequency polygon, well, we plot the frequencies in the midpoint of each category. So between 0 and 20, that's going to be 10 minutes, and the frequency is 5, so we do a little x there. Next, between 20 and 40, well, the midpoint is 30, and the height's going to be 11, so 30 and up to 11. Now, in terms of these little lines, there's, here we can see there's 5 on the y-axis, so the vertical axis, and there's 10 little squares, and 5 divided by 10 is 0 0.5, so each of the little lines is 0 0.5. So if we want 11, we're going to go from 30 up, so we've got 10, 10 and a half, 11. So there's going to be two little lines just above the 10. So that's going to be there, 11. Next, we've got 40 to 60. So the midpoint's 50 and then 20 up. So 50 and then 20 up. So that's going to be there. Okay, next, we've got between 60 and 80. So it's going to be 70 and up to 15. So 70 across and up to 15 is going to be there. And finally, between 80 and 100, so that's going to be 90 and up to 9. So 90 and then up to 9. So there's 10, and we're going to go down two little lines because each time we go down two, that's going down one uh, in terms of the frequency. So that's going to be there. And now we've plotted our five points. Now we just need to get a ruler and pencil and join them up. So it looks something like this. And that's it. We've drawn our frequency polygon. And one thing to note is that you don't join up the first point and the last point. Uh, some people actually try and draw a polygon. Uh, you actually just join it up the first to the second, second to the third, the third to the fourth, and the fourth to the fifth. So the points like that and we've drawn our frequency polygon and if you do that yourself well done okay let's have a look at another question okay now sometimes a frequency polygon may be drawn for you such as this one here and we've got a frequency table a group frequency table here so from 0 to 10 seconds from 10 to 20 seconds from 20 to 30 seconds and from 30 to 40 seconds and we've got the frequencies so let's complete this table to begin with so from 0 to 10 seconds well, that will be plotted in the midpoint so that's gonna be 5 and if we go from 5 up we can see that's got a frequency of 5 there so that means the frequency is 5 so the frequency there would be 5 from 10 to 15 seconds so it's gonna be plotted at the midpoint which is 15 so we're gonna go up from 15 and you can see the frequency there would be 40 so 40 next from 20 to 30 with the midpoint would be 25 so we're going to go from 25 and up then you can see the frequency there is 45 and finally between 30 and 40 well it's going to be plotted at the midpoint which is 35 and as you can see the frequency is 10. so we've completed our frequency table and the question our first question says a student is picked at random so one of these students is picked at random and we've been asked to write down the probability that they took longer than 30 seconds to complete this puzzle this is for a puzzle and it's at the time it takes for a student to complete a puzzle so press pause now and to work out that question yourself so we've been asked to find the probability that student takes longer than 30 seconds. So if we have a look here, longer than 30 seconds, that's going to be the last category because these students, these 10 students, all take longer than 30 seconds, whereas all the rest of them take 30 seconds or less. So it says, what's the probability that a student picked at random will take longer than 30 seconds? Well, let's see how many students are all together. So if we do 5 plus 40, that's 45, plus another 45, that's 90, plus 10 is 100. So there's 100 students all together, and 10 of them take longer than 30 seconds. So it's going to be 10 out of 100 and then if we cancel that down that's equal to one tenth and if you got that well done so the probability that a student takes longer than 30 seconds is one tenth and that's it okay and let's have a look at our next question the next question says write down the modal class interval so press pause now and write down the modal class interval so remember the modal class interval is the most common one so the class interval that happens the most now in terms of our graph we can find that point by looking for the highest point the highest point here this point here will show us where the modal class interval is so in between 20 and 30 seconds is the modal class interval or alternatively could you look at your table the one with the highest frequency is this class interval here so this is our modal class interval the time is greater than 20 seconds but less than or equal to 30 seconds and that's it okay so in this video we've looked at how to draw frequency polygon and we've looked at how to answer some questions involved 
frequency polygons. I'd highly recommend you have a look at the practice questions today because particularly with frequency polygons, you can draw lots of them. If you can print out those practice questions, you can draw lots of frequency polygons on the sheets. And also then there'll be some questions, perhaps maybe even when you're comparing frequency polygons, so maybe for instance, two frequency polygons on one graph and you need to compare them. So having a look at the uh, practice questions will be useful today as well. Okay, so we've looked at frequency polygons. Now let's have a look at stem and leaf diagrams. So let's start off by drawing a stem and leaf diagram. So here we've got a question. It says, here are the number of goals scored by 15 hockey teams. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we've got 15 numbers of goals here scored by 15 hockey teams, perhaps over a season. And I would like you to draw a stem and leaf diagram. So press pause now and draw a stem and leaf diagram to represent this information. Okay, so in terms of drawing our stem leaf diagram, I'm going to do an unordered one to begin with. So we've got our 10s, we've got our 20s, our 30s, and our 40s. So we've got 18, so let's put an 8 there. 34, so 4 there. 45, 5 there. 11, so it's going to be a 1 there. 22, a 2 there. 28, an 8. 24, a 4. 39, a 9. 40, a 0. 25, a 5. 27, a 7. 31, a 1. 24, 4, 16, 6, and 27, 7. So that's our unordered stem leaf diagram. Now let's order our numbers. So we've got our 10s, 20s, 30s, and 40s. And then in terms of our leaves, we'd have 1, 6, and 8, putting those in order. Then we would have 2, 4, 4, 5, 7, 7, and 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Just checking we've got them all. And then we've got 1, 4, and 9. And then a 0 and a 5. So there's our stem and leaf diagram. And now we just need to do a key. So I just pick one of the numbers in our stem and leaf diagram. So I'm going to choose the biggest number, which is 45. So I'm going to do 4, line 5, means 45. And that's it. So we've drawn our stem leaf diagram. And if you drew a stem leaf diagram like this one, well done. Okay, now let's have a look at another question. Okay, now sometimes you might be given a stem leaf diagram drawn for you and you might be asked to work out things such as the mode or the range or the median and things like that. So here we've got a stem leaf diagram and it shows the time taken for 15 people to complete a jigsaw. And 3 slash 1 means 31 minutes. So this is 31 minutes, 39 minutes, 40 minutes, 43 minutes, 46 minutes and so on. And the first question says find the modal time taken. Then we've got to find the range of the times taken and then we've been asked to find the median time taken. So feel free to press pause now and work out these three answers. Okay, so in terms of the modal time taken, well, we've got here, if we have a look here, 57 and 57. So there's two 57s, and I can't see any other numbers that repeat. So 57 is going to be the mode, it's the most common time. So 57 minutes, 57 minutes. Okay, next, the range of the times taken. So it's going to be the longest time, subtract the shortest time. So it's going to be 75 minutes, subtract 31 minutes. So that's going to be equal to 44 minutes. So the range of the times taken will be 44 minutes. And if you got that, well done. And finally, the medium time taken. So let's cross off the smallest or the shortest time and the longest, the next shortest and the next 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 longest, and we're left with 57 in the middle. So the medium time taken is 57 minutes, and that's it. And if you got those, well done. Okay, let's have a look at another question. Okay, here's another one for you to try. So this time says the stem leaf diagram shows information about the time taken by students to complete a puzzle. So again, and we've got two line three means 23 minutes. So this is 23 minutes, 25 minutes, 58 minutes, and so on. And the question says, what fraction of the students took longer than 35 minutes to complete the puzzle? So feel free to press pause now and work out what fraction of these students took longer than 35 minutes to complete the puzzle. Okay, so in terms of this question, what I would do is I'd see how many students are all together. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just counting up the leaves here. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there's 15 students all together. And we want the fraction that took longer than 35 minutes. So 35 minutes, well, 35 would be here. So that's where 35 would be. So that one takes longer than 35 minutes. That's 36 minutes, 37, 41, 44, and 58. So there's one, two, three, four, five of them that took longer than 35 minutes. All the rest of them took less than 35 minutes. So how many took longer than 35 minutes? That's 5 out of 15, or 5 fifteenths. And if we cancel that down, that's a third. And if you got a third as your answer, well done. And that's it. So in this video, we've gone through stem leaf diagrams. So knowing how to draw a stem leaf diagram, the importance of the key, how to find the range from a stem leaf diagram, how to find the mode from a stem leaf diagram, how to find the medium from a stem leaf diagram, um, and answer questions like that, particularly questions such as, 
you know, what fraction of them are above a certain height and things like that. So have a look at the practice questions on those STEM leaf questions because it's quite useful to come back to those and practice them and make sure that you're familiar with the different situations that you might encounter in STEM leaf diagrams. And likewise, for frequency polygons, how to draw frequency polygons, how to use a ruler and pencil and join up the points, but don't join up the first and the last one. Making sure that whenever we're doing frequency polygons for group data, making sure we're putting them in the midpoint of each of the categories. And that's it. And also how to answer questions such as which one's the modal class and things like that from a frequency polygon. So likewise, for frequency polygons, try the practice questions. But that's it. So we're 36 days ago to your GCSE maths exam. You're doing really, really well. Keep up the hard work. And also remember to do things such as your five days. So your numeracy five days, your foundation five days, your foundation plus five days. And within those, you're going to see questions on stem leaf diagrams and frequency polygons as well. So you'll come back to those topics and it'll just remind you of those that you'll be really confident for whenever you do your exam in just over five weeks. So tomorrow there'll be five weeks to go. So it'll be exactly 35 days to go into your first GCSE maths exam tomorrow. So keep up the hard work and I'll see you at 3 o'clock for the next video. Cheers. Bye.